Diana's sudden death leaves some people shocked today. No wonder, because there are many things about Diana's fatal car accident that don't really make sense. The mother of Prince Harry and Prince William predicted her own death. In a letter to her good friend and butler Paul Burrell, she described her fears of a planned fatal car accident. This would pave the way for a new marriage for Prince Charles. With the publication of the letter, conspiracy theories emerged claiming that the British royalty and the Secret Service were behind the accident. Many details related to Lady Diana's death give one additional pause, such as the change of limos. Originally, Lady Diana, her boyfriend Dodi Al Fayed, his bodyguard, and her driver were supposed to take a completely different vehicle. However, it did not start, and so they had to drive a car from the hotel in which they were staying. It is also suspicious that the ambulance only arrived after half an hour and then even drove past the nearest hospital. The only survivor of the accident was Dodie's bodyguard Trevor Reese Jones, who was then in a coma and can only remember a few details of that day. However, he is certain of one thing, the driver, Henry Paul, was drunk. Although the blood results prove him right, some conspiracy theorists claim that the bodyguard worked for the Secret Service and that the tests were allegedly fake. Even if that seems far-fetched, the question arises, why would he ride with a man who he knows is drunk as a pig? It's also strange that the driver of the car, Henry Paul, had 15 bank accounts and nearly $200,000. Even though he was a security officer at the Ritz Hotel with average pay, how can that be? Some believe Paul worked for the Secret Service and was involved in planning the fatal car accident. Still, that doesn't explain why he asked his parents for money shortly before his death. The reactions of the motorcyclist and his passenger, who overtook Lady Diana's car shortly before the accident, are also suspicious. A witness said that after the crash, the motorcyclist's escort jumped off the bike, looked into the damaged car and made a hand gesture in the direction of the motorcyclist. Then the two drove away. Another mode of transportation that played a role in Lady Diana's death was a white Fiat Uno. To this day, there is speculation about who was in this car. Many suspicions point to a taxi driver named Lee Van Tan, who was also interviewed by the French police. However, they forbade him from speaking to the British police to testify. Another suspect who might have been behind the wheel of the Fiat is paparazzi photographer Jean-Paul James Andenson, who stalked Lady Diana before her death. Conspiracy theorists say that he also worked for the Secret Service. In 2000, it was made public that Andenson is said to have set himself on fire in a BMW. However, one firefighter claims that he shot himself in the head. <laughs> 